we have a highly transmissible and immune evasive variant that's BA5. The worst COVID subvariant so far is here, and doctors say the BA5 strain comes with more problems that impact all of us. Good evening. I'm Ama Dates. I'm Larry Beal. Thanks for joining us. We've been dealing with COVID for more than two years. So why is this strain so much worse? ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra is a member of our vaccine team, and she joins us live tonight to break down the top reasons doctors are concerned, Steph. Yes, Alma, the BA5 variant is spreading so fast. Doctors say it's never been easier to get infected with COVID, even if you're vaccinated. Everything from heightened transmissibility to more severe symptoms. We're looking into the top five reasons why BA5 is shaping up to be the worst. It's not often we hear California called a red state. But when it comes to COVID transmission, the CDC could not be more clear. Nearly every county across the state, with the exception of six, is red, signaling high levels of COVID community transmission. That includes the entire Bay Area. So is a new surge coming? Well, I think it is at least the second worst surge in terms of numbers. The CDC estimates more than half of new COVID cases stem from Omicron subvariants, BA4 and BA5. But UCSF's Dr. Peter Chin Hung explains why the latter is the one to worry about. And the real superpower of BA5 is reinfections. And because BA5 is new, if you got infected like maybe two or three weeks ago, it was likely not BA5. So you're susceptible to reinfection. Here's five reasons why BA5 could be the worst variant yet. First, preliminary evidence from the Kirby Institute in Australia shows false negatives on rapid antigen tests may be higher with BA5. And it could take up to five days to get accurate results. So some tricks are um, certainly combining the throat and the nose, although not official. Um, repeating the test multiple times, which I know lots of people are doing. Second, BA5 is the most transmissible variant out there, at least 20% more transmissible than Omicron, now tying or surpassing measles, the world's most infectious viral disease. The more transmissible the virus it is, it's the easier it is to get. Even outside. If you're in crowded outdoor spaces, it's very possible. Third, symptoms of BA5 may be more painful. People are reporting a lot more sore throat, like your throat is on fire, in particular with BA5. It wouldn't be so serious that you'll go to the hospital, but it certainly will be very uncomfortable. The fourth and fifth reasons go hand in hand. COVID hospitalizations in California and the Bay Area are not overwhelming hospitals, but have reached the highest point since February. That paired with a blind spot of COVID cases. The White House cautioning several hundreds of thousands of new COVID cases are underreported each day. The question is, does all of this mean more restrictions like mask mandates could come back? As we start to enter the fall when people come indoors um, and, uh, um, and schools are back in session, it's, it's on the table. It's, it's always a possibility. An important reminder to add to that, Dr. Peter Chin Hong says we are not currently in a surge yet, but it could be very soon. He described it as a holding pattern. So within the next two weeks, we'll be able to see any impact to hospitalizations, and that will likely drive any decision on additional restrictions like mask mandates. Ama? Yeah, Steph, speaking of that, what are you hearing about any chance for additional restrictions like those mask mandates? So from the San Francisco Health Department, they're saying for now they are strongly recommending masking indoors and in crowded public settings. That means outdoors, too. So no mask mandates planned just yet. That's the case for most of the Bay Area counties we reached out to all nine. But as always, that could change depending on what we see happen over the next couple weeks. So in the meantime, you can't be too careful. Yeah, certainly. All right. Thank you, Stephanie.